What is happening guys? Thanks for checking into the channel today. Um, I got a real quick, easy how to on fixing your doorknobs hitting the drywall. Check this out. Every time this door's open right now, we're on the construction project. It's hitting the drywall and it's leaving a hole. So drywallers are coming in to spackle that up here soon. I got an easy fix for you guys. It's a spring door stop that we're going to install on top of the baseboard. Really easy fix. It's going to prevent holes in the wall. My name is Hunter. Hammer that like button, subscribe, and thanks for checking in. Let's get to it. All right, guys. So we really only need one tool for this job. I have my drill. Um, you could also use a screwdriver. It's just going to take a little bit more time to screw the one screw into your baseboard, guys. So we have our spring stop, the little cover plate, and a screw. So what I want you to do is put your door stop on top of your baseboard and figure out right where it's going to hit the door and prevent the door from hitting the wall. And right there, it's nice and stable. So I'm going to do a little pencil mark just right here in the center. All right, guys. So now we want to grab our plate. We want to put our screw through the plate. So the nice flat edge is going to be against your baseboard. We're going to get the door out of the way and I'm going to get my drill here, guys. And I'm going to want to put my screw right below my mark. And then this guy, there's one little slot, there's an end, and you just screw it back in. And guys, let's see what works out here. Door hits, and check out here, my hand's behind. No longer hitting the wall. Easy fix, guys, just a spring door stop. You can pick those up at Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, Order them on Amazon, simple fix. All right guys, just another quick condition. We already have the door stop installed, but if your door opens parallel to a wall, you have a little bit more play. You can kind of have it hit anywhere in the door here. I like to hit it close to the edge, within an inch to the edge, but you have a little bit more play when the door opens nice and parallel to the wall. All right, guys, we have one more condition in the way to protect your door from opening into something. In this case, picture the refrigerator being in this hole and the door is opening. Well, the door is either going to open, it's going to hit the cabinets, or it's going to hit the refrigerator, and we don't want to dent the fridge. Well, there is another way of doing it, guys. Let me get this out of the package here, and this is the hinge stop door. We'll call it a door protector in a sense. It's a hinge stop and there does come with the plastic piece. So let's show you how to install this on a door that really will open up into something where you can't use one of those spring bumps. We're going to need a simple hammer and a nail set. Maybe even just a nail, guys. Ready? Let's get this going. Come in and let, let's check this out. So I'm going to choose this hinge because it's right at eye level. We're going to get the, from the bottom and we're going to tap that pin all the way up. We're going to take it out. Okay. We're going to take it out. All right, guys, that was easy. Just popping the pin out. We have the pin in my hand and we have our door protector here, our hinge stop door protector. So what I'm going to want to do is when I install it, I want to make sure that this rubber piece is hitting my casing. So there is a correct, there is a right and a wrong way to install it. We want our rubber piece to be hitting the casing. There are different variations. Maybe there's two rubber pieces. In that case, it doesn't matter. For this one, the rubber piece needs to hit the casing. Our plastic piece needs to be on top to be in between the pin and our hinges. And we're just gonna slide the pin back in. I'm gonna get my hammer out. We're just going to tap that pin in nice and hard, guys. Real easy, super simple. Now check this out. Now, when the door opens, look what it's, look, look what it's doing. It's, it's just pinching right here on the hinge. It's hitting the rubber. And back up a little bit for me, Bri. Check this out, guys. It's, it's stopping the door, okay? It is stopping the door. I don't want to overforce it, but it's stopping. We want it to open a little bit more. So let's just adjust by moving this little little screw point right here. And now let's check it out, guys. The door's gonna open a little bit more. I'm just gonna go a hair more in this condition for the fridge. 
and I know the door is going to stop nicely. The fridge will come out to about this point. The door is going to stop nicely. And now you're not going to hit your fridge. You're not going to dent anything easy with just a simple, simple trick. One last thing guys, over time, if you flex it a couple of times, just come back and re-tap that down, re-secure it, super simple. All right guys, I hope you learned something. This is a super easy little trick, spring door stop, and then I also showed you that hinge door stop on preventing holes or damage in other areas of your home. If you learned something, hammer that like button, subscribe to the channel, and thank you very much for checking in today. We will see you next time.